What's going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo. Welcome to Warframe. I've had tons of you ask me to play this over the years and we're finally dipping our toes into this epic adventure. The TLDR for this video is that A, Warframe is super awesome. B, I'm really impressed with the quality, the graphics, and the diversity. C, it's totally free, which is epic. And D, I'm giving away a PS4. Teaming up with Digital Extremes, we're giving away a PlayStation 4 console. All you gotta do is watch the video, let me know what you like about Warframe, frame and where and if you're gonna play it. it's available on ps4 xbox one pc and they have improved this thing a lot and added a ton of content throughout the years so let's show you why it is cool and what i like about it we've got a really sick warframe here uh, i went and got a really awesome guy and outfitted him with some super sexy gear. We've got these dual heat swords here that are his melee weapon. Uh, we've got this automatic crossbow that I can't even pronounce, but it fires amazing. And then we have some dual SMGs for epic gun action. But we also have cool stuff like slides and bullet diving and more. So let me show you what Warframe's all about. It, it resembles Destiny in a way, which I think is pretty darn cool, especially considering it's totally free. Uh, the graphics and the gameplay really hold up. There's a ton of stuff uh, underneath the hood as well in terms of mods uh, for your character, upgrades for your character, new weapons, um, and there is not a heavy emphasis on microtransactions at all. It's not the typical free-to-play game uh, where they are pounding you with microtransactions. In fact, I've been playing a bunch and haven't seen any of that. You collect loot, you collect uh, gear, you level up all your characters and your weapons so you can eventually swip your, switch your weapons to other uh Warframe, and we'll show you other Warframe. I wanted to show you this super sexy one. He's a bit overpowered uh, for this level, but I just wanted to show you uh, a really cool guy that I really like uh, to start things off here, and then we'll go and show you. I'll show you a really tough mission as well, so you can see where things eventually get and why you need to be super strong. But I've been impressed with the Warframe, and I know a lot of you guys were like, hey, you should play this, and now I know why. What up, dude? Boom! Alright, so there's a whole bunch of different weapons. Uh, I went and got some weapons that I thought were pretty darn sweet. Like I said, I wanted to get uh, a crossbow. I wanted to get some dual wielding guns. And I wanted these heat swords because I think the melee action is pretty cool. And they've added, like, there's just a lot of cool concepts here. It has, like, some Vanquish, some Mirror's Edge, some Destiny. Uh, and again, like, it's totally free, which is pretty sweet. Um, so we are going to adventure through and take these dudes out. There's also, like, you can play some multiplayer co-op. Ooh, dang, that was not cool. My guy does not have a shield right now. Uh, so I need to make sure that I do not end up decapitated like that, Dodo. Um, but you can play stuff almost like Strikes from Destiny multiplayer. I did a big boss in that, and it took four of us to take it down, which is pretty fun. Three or four of us. Uh, but it also is kind of fun just to play by yourself and, and sort of take out the entire, uh, crew of crux alone we're gonna head in here deeper now there's a lot of different environments too which is something i appreciate and like quite a bit what's up dude there we go let's pull out our heat swords like i said you upgrade your stuff individually yep that's how you do it good night like i said we're kind of supercharged right now but it's pretty sweet that way um and i like doing this like you go bullet time and then you're like bow 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 Ooh, kill him in the air you can also wall run which i'll have to show you guys at some point here now, uh, you'll see I'm getting a bunch of credits. There is, uh, obviously currency, there's ammo, there's XP. And I customized the colors of my guy. I wanted to go with, like, an aqua and fire theme, like a water fire theme I thought would be pretty cool. And that's kind of what we did. These two guys don't even know what hit them. Uh, this is one of the early missions, like I said, I just want to show you. Be able to show off the game without any worry of dying here. And then we'll get into, like, a, I'll show you, like, a, a really hard mission. Uh, there's a pretty sick quest uh, called Howl of the Kubro. And, uh, that one, I'm technically not ready for it, but my dude is so epic, uh, that he can handle himself pretty darn well. Alright, I like the dual wielding guns as well, because then it, you kind of get a, a, a really nice mix of, like, melee, uh, focus fire, and just random fire. Um, and the combat, like, the controls are really good. It doesn't feel, like, janky or anything. If you've never played Warframe, then, like, it is a very high-quality experience. Um, for any game. Like, if this cost 60 bucks, I'd still say it was high quality. But the fact that it's free is just ridiculously impressive. Good. Your ship is one step closer to completion. Okay, sweet. Now, there is one more thing you need to do. Eliminate all Grenier and oh, provide dang. justice for the colonists. Alright, they also have storyline here, cutscenes and whatnot. 
Soon the worm will be in your spine, and I will control this warframe of yours. I will purge your doting mother and bring you home. Shush, boy. I'm trying to focus on taking all these enemies. Alright, I shut the alarms off, which is good. Though I don't think it matters. I think they still are quite angry at me uh, for being here in the... Whoa. Oh, dude. The shield guys are nasty. We'll be taking them out with those dual heat swords. Uh, you can get, like, giant hammers. You can apply mods so you uh, have stronger weapons, faster weapons. Uh, I also have abilities. Did I even mention I had abilities? Check this out. Boom! How you like that? I'm kind of like a sand creature. Inaros is his name, or Inaros. Inaros. Uh, is my Warframe's name. Like I said, I want I wanted to get a really cool one, so I did just that. Uh, but he has, like, sand powers. Pretty sweet. He has no shield, though, as you see. So, like, my health uh, is depleting quite quickly. But we should be okay here, um, I think. And yeah, get some credits and whatnot. All right. There's 17 enemies left. No, 27. My bad. That's a death zone. All right. What's up, dude? Ooh. All right. So we'll find everyone, take him out. And then we will go into that uh, more difficult quest after this. I like how they've got like this epic movement system. And I think I kind of like, like after playing The Division, playing Destiny, as much as I like first person shooters, I think I kind of like, like gear, loot, quest driven games like this. Uh, whoa, crap. Better if they are in third person. Um, just because then you can see a lot more of your character. You can see uh, the physical effects of your upgrades and of your improvements. Whereas in first person, it's a little bit more difficult. Plus, I think just like this more fast-paced style with like rapid killing and uh, sort of grunt enemy uh, and then bosses just works better as I collect these cards. Those are mods that you can eventually equip to your character. Um, let's take this elevator up. just did a mission before we started recording of a really pretty like purple uh, planet level thought that was gorgeous I think the graphics look really nice boom baby oh this guy what's he waiting for Ooh, that's a stealth kill all right we got a lot of dudes here but my crossbow it's an automatic crossbow uh, the starting character I made had a bow and I was like you know what bows are bows are kind of cool they're kind of the rage but it's not fast enough, you know what I mean? It just wasn't doing it for me, so I had to get this, like, automatic crossbow that I bought uh, with in-game, you know, points or whatever. Alright. Ooh, okay, okay. 10 down. 24 down, 10 to go. Oh, baby. I gotta be careful. These guys will take me out. Ooh, I got a sandstorm ability. Okay, let's check that out. Boom! Oh my god, look at that. I'm a freaking, freaking flying, floating sand magician. Dude, you thought David Copperfield had skills. We are all up in this sand man coming to scare you. Leaving dust in your eyes. And tears on your fries. Nobody likes soggy fries. Boom! Shakalaka, three to go. Where are you now? Where have you been? Oh no, I don't want to fall off the world. Okay. Ooh, moment of truth. All right, let's see if we can slide into this. I like to slide a lot in this game. Ooh, baby. Nicely done. 34 and good night. Uh, we can head through here. So yellow is like your mission, and then green is extraction. So that's what you're kind of going for in the mini map there. Oh, I died. Okay. There we go. Boom, mission complete. All right. Mission complete. This is pretty Excellent sick. Work, I'm going to take us back to the ship. I'll show you kind of how all the upgrades and stuff work. Level up my dude, level up my weapons, because then you can, like I said, swap those weapons uh, to other Warframe. And I'll show you a little bit about what that is like, because I think that's like one of the coolest things here, is the character variety and flexibility um, and sort of personalization system. Uh, not just in terms of like colors and, and armor, but in terms of like play style and in terms of weapons is just... It's it's insane. It's way higher than something like Destiny or Division. Is ready for installation, operator. Um, so I'm gonna head over here to show you. All right, so we got a part of our ship to install, but this is your arsenal, and you'll see here there are all these different Warframe. This is my starting Warframe, and you know he's kind of cool, but compared to some of the dudes I have unlocked, it's just insane. And they got some really cool guys. They almost remind me of, like summons from Final Fantasy or something. Insane dudes, but you'll see like. 
dark powers. Uh, you'll see, like, Master of Illusion. And then we can go and uh, check him out here. And you'll see different abilities, like creates an entourage of doppelgangers. All sorts of abilities. All sorts of crazy-looking dudes. And then weapons are the same thing. Uh, you've got crossbows. You've got uh, assault rifles. You've got bows. You've got... Uh, you know, more like submachine guns, shotguns, long-range weaponry, uh, some crazy different weapons. And some of them are locked by level and some you can just buy uh, with in-game currency. Um, same with your secondary and then same with your melee as well. All sorts of stuff here. You got bow staffs. Uh, you can throw on some cleavers, some ether, some fangs, some swords. Gla oh, my God. Dude, we got to buy this glaive. That is going to be sweet. Uh, Digital Extremes hooked me up with some in-game currency so I could just show you guys a bunch of different cool uh, enemies, or I'm sorry, weapons and stuff. Uh, there's also companion characters. I'm not even sure what these guys do. That shocks nearby enemies. Um, let's let's bring him. He's got a sniper rifle? Seriously? Yes, please. Durga. Uh, like I said, this next quest is really insane, so... Um, Operator, the system needs you. We are going to... Uh, we're going to have to check this out here. Like I said, all sorts of other guys. I could show you the basic Warframe. Uh, with his crossbow. Maybe I'll do that at the end of the video, but first I wanted to show you how insane this gets and how many, like, enemies and whatnot come at you. Oh, they're gonna make me install this real quick. Alright, so this is our ship. This is kind of where you have everything. Uh, I don't even know what we're installing. The foundry. I think this is probably where we craft stuff. It's very in-depth, and you can either play it more service level, like I've been doing, kind of just, like, focusing on your Warframe, your weaponry, um, and your, your missions. Um, but you can also get... Yeah. All sorts of stuff. Uh, there's also this marketplace here where you can kind of check out some of the cooler things that you got going on. Okay, cool. Do you want me to go check on that? Typical corpus. No. Sure, the blueprint is free, but jack up the components. Operator, we will need resources in order to build the countermeasure blueprint. Sounds like a plan of my stand. Um, there's also a huge social aspect that I haven't even dipped my toes into. General, I just received a very explicit message from your ship, Sevlon. If you're looking for resources, why didn't you just say so? I know just the place, but I demand an apology. My mother is no gymnast, and she would never eat those things. Ma All right. You can go straight to uh, operator. I am sorry. All right. Take me to the wow. next mission. There we go. You may want uh, to get a new ship, Zeppelin, when you can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> that one seems glitched. I like some of these characters too. Navigation with a place I know. It's good for resources. If you can stand the cold. All right. So Hollow of the Kubro is what. Uh, is is the intense quest that I wanted to show you, and I don't know if I can even survive it. Like I said, it's supposed to be for a higher level, technically. Um, but with my upgraded Warframe, with my weaponry, and now with uh, my Sentinel, we may be able to get things done. We'll just have to see. Um, but this is where, like, okay, the starting missions, yeah, there's some, like, guys. But eventually, the AI and the enemies are like, uh-uh, we're not having any of this crap. And they come at you hardcore. All right. So we dropping in. We're looking for this incubator segment. I love how you're just like in like almost like a Han Solo, like perfectly, uh, perfect. Lone Tenno operative is raiding this ship for supplies. You are here to distract the enemy. Trigger the alarm. All right, I got you. Uh, how your body is like perfectly just like in that, almost like a, like, I don't know, like an action figure dropping out of the ship. Okay, so we're going to trigger the alarm over here and uh, see what's up. Okay, so this is a little like side mini game you got going on here. And we just have to connect these. It's pretty easy. And that'll trigger the alarm. Life support has been cut off. Boom! They're trying to choke you out. Hold on. I'm sending auxiliary life support. Okay, they're gonna try to choke me out here. My life support the be deactivated. Life support capsule has arrived. Okay. Activate it when your supply is low. Alright. What are we hunting for, my friends? Uh oh, here come dudes. Yep, and you can see they're level eight. I can I can deal with them though. I can rock them. My only fear is my my uh my health is a little bit low uh, because I am only level five here and I have no shield. But like, oh my god. Okay, let's go into them with my glaive. I probably should have stuck with the swords. We'll switch the uh the guns. As you'll see, uh, my health is going down quickly. But it does get so intense, doesn't it? And eventually, if I was the correct level and did my weapons all leveled up, uh, we would be able to deal with this, like, 
fine, or we could bring some friends in and check it out all cool. Uh, almost like a little Metal Gear style thing. A lot of influences from other games, which is pretty darn cool, I think. And I gotta keep an eye on my life support system. I'm trying to see if that, there's any help I can pick. I'm not sure if that's even a thing in this level here. I like these guns. Uh, but let's see. My crossbow is probably what I want to use here. Oh my god, they are coming in. Hello. Buddy boy, can you help out? Oh god. Okay, here. Let's, uh... Let's cast Desiccation. Get them all locked up. We leveling up. I wish that turned our health. Uh, back full, but there are so many enemies here. It's just insane. So like getting through this field is gonna be tricky. All right. Hello. There's some life support uh, I love how far you can dive. That's pretty awesome. Oh crap. I'm in a bad place He's crewmen, but see what I'm saying like the game gets way more intense and way crazier. Whoa Yeah, this glaive is not as good as those swords Probably should not have switched out the glaive. Okay. I'm bleeding out now, which kind of sucks, uh, but the good news is here my coffin, my sarcophagus, does take dudes out, and my my helper here. Oh wow, I'm back in the action. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, all right. So let's see if we can take these dudes out. I got a full health bar, ready for us. A lot of enemies. My goodness gracious. Okay, holy crap, dudes. Do you ever sleep? No, you do not. All right, I gotta get to that life support segment. It's oh my god, oh my god. See what I'm saying? Like it gets real intense. So if you're worried about difficulty, no sir, you'll have no trouble dealing with that it's gonna come at you hardcore so we're going to find this life support segment let's see what they got for us over here as long as we can be away from those uh freaking goons for a little while okay life support segment it's right around the corner i'm guessing there's gonna be more dudes oh no all right let's activate it no hello get out of my way okay back to 61 percent here okay Get him. Man, aiming is so much more helpful, but not aiming is so much faster. <laughs> Alright, let's follow the markers here. Oh, let, whoa. Um, I really like, like I said, just the movement in this game. I think that's a big part of what makes it fun. Like, that, the fact that you're all over the place constantly, I think that's super cool. Hey. Eh? Okay, I got you, I got you. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'm just trying to pick and kill as much as we can here. Alright, good deal. Oh, they got a shield drone. Yeah, those Ospreys are a pain in the butt. Alright. Yeah, they're probably gonna kill me here. Ooh, nicely done. Slicing that glaive. Pretty darn cool. I'm not sure what just happened, but it didn't sound good. Um, okay. You kill me, you kill me. Alright, I'm bleeding out. I don't know if my dude can revive me. I think he might be able to. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. All right, I'm back in it. We're shocking. We're rocking. Shield Osprey. All right, come on, man. Boom. Say goodnight. Headshots for the win. And we're going in tough. All right. Let's go activate this. Oh, wow. Okay, freaking. All right, level seven. As you see, it pays off to, uh, to play with the big boys. Life support. Good. I wish my reload was a little better, but again, those are like mods you can install to upgrade the uh, different different components of your guns and what they do well. And, oh god, okay. I think basically I have to zap dudes, and then it seems like I can like suck uh suck my like life force out of them. Look at that. I'm back in it, baby. All right, so we can do this ourselves. Uh, we don't need teammates to help us out here. Picking up little life support capsules. Alright, my Durga is bleeding out, which is sad. The operative has just made their first discovery. Okay. Keep up the good work. Okay, cool. When you are ready, go to extraction. Oh dang. I don't like that cyber stomp, man. Let's slice you up with this delay, baby. My twin gun's gonna serve me well. I love that they just keep spawning an enemy, so it's literally just like an insane insane fest. Alright, let's follow where we're trying to get here. Boom. Glavia half to death. I like it. Extra reach. Alright, let's see if we can get out of here. Okay, baby. Take me away. Um, no. We're stuck under a glass wall. 
All right, let's get out of here. Come on, come on, come on. Get ready for a capsule. Okay. Whoa. Where do you want me to go? I mean, I'm fine. I'm on. Oh, 37. I should really. Yeah, let's do this. Hello. Okay, I should probably just leave. Just try to extra Oh, wow. Okay. You guys aren't cool. You guys are full of drool. I only have 29% life support. Okay. Hello. Where are we going? A little blue Another tree. Life support capsule is now available. It's, it's, oh, God. It's downstairs. Okay. Hold on. Critical life support levels. Yep. 19. Extraction is your best option. Okay. Holy cow. Let's extract. Uh, uh. Whew, mission complete. We got out of there. I'm Another shocked that we well beat that. Executed. That's pretty dope. I can't believe we did it ourselves. Yes. All right. So, we'll head back. Let's do one more. I'm having a fun time with this. I'll make this a long video for you guys. And that gives you a lot of good stuff then to think about in terms of your favorite parts you can win a PlayStation 4. About to be E3. About to be a ton of new games announced. Somebody needs PS4. You can play Warframe for yourself, and you can play whatever else comes out. Joy. An incubator. The only segment Ordis is glad those savages looted. I would be happy to help you install it. Right. Ordis awaits incubator segment installation, operator. All right. No need to rush. Let's drop this segment in here. Good. Now you just need a Kubra egg to start the process. Oh boy. Feral Kubra dens on Earth would be a good place to start looking. Oh boy. I don't even know what a Kubra is. We're about to find out. We're about to hunt down a feral Kubra. Okay. There's a bunch of different missions that are going on right now. You can see, you can find a squad if you want, but I'm just going to play solo. I like to rock solo. We've got three of our abilities. I remember to use those abilities. So you got primary, secondary, melee abilities. So there's eventually four of them. So that's seven different types of attacks right there. Plus, I have my, like, helper companion. There's a lot going on. You can eventually get gear and stuff as well. All right, we're headed to Earth. That magical place we know and love. Let's get the sudden mag. Just get there quick. Take me down, baby. See, like there is a large platoon oh. of Grenier Marines stationed here. Leave no one standing. Everything looks so dang pretty in Warframe. What up, Grenier? Boom! How you like me now? I'm level seven. I'm level heaven. Look at these dudes gyrating on the floor. That guy's head is in a difficult shape. Okay, but they hit me with some piercing thing because I'm like bleeding out kind of. I was for a second there. See, there's less enemies in this mission, so I fare better. Okay, I gotta kill 62 of these guys. Dang, Daniel. Alright. Credits and bow ammo, it's good to have. We just gotta find dudes. What up, dude? All right, now we're almost the the recommended level, and I, and you'll see that even at the recommended level, they still keep the difficulty kind of in a good spot. You know what I mean? Like it, it's still challenging. They don't want you just to cruise through. That's just for like the early stuff in the tutorials. All right. Oh dang, they're grouping together here. I wish my reload was faster. <gasps> Ooh, are those Kubro? They are freaking wolf creatures. Oh dang. Ooh, they're kind of creepy. I don't like that. Alright. Still got 40-some enemies left to kill. Do you count? Do the Kubro count? Wow, they are tough. Oh, yeah, they do. Okay, so killing Kubro counts. And the Frontier lands for dudes. I need to find, like, a big group of them. Keep forgetting to use like the bullet time, it's pretty sexy. Ooh, the poor puppy's in the ground. My girlfriend will not be happy with me about for that, though. Alright. I also kinda like like the running gun nature of it. Like I said, there's like that little bit of that, like vanquish element to it. I, I wish I could. That's not really wall running. There have been a whole lot of walls in our missions today. Well, you can wall run if you don't believe me. Boom! Freaking glaive killing. I was going to switch out the glaive, but the fact that, uh, we've already seen the sword, so why not show you something different? Okay. What up, Heidi boy? Ooh, 
Ooh. Ooh. Dead on arrival. By the time I drop in, he is dead. Um, let's reload up here. Ah. 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 I like how you can, like, double fire. You don't have to, like, wait for it to, like, it's an automatic crossbow, so you don't have to wait for anything. Really. Nope. All right, we got 34 halfway. Over halfway done. Blade, you have to go zoom tight depth. Okay. More dudes over here. There's some mines in the ground. I'm not sure you saw that. Uh, that's what was hurting me as I moved over this way. Okay. I wish I had grenades. I guess I do have abilities that I should be using, probably. Whoa. Health is starting to get a little fragile here. Let's stay away from these melee dudes. Ooh. Ooh, glaves you before you had a chance to grope me. And we in this. What is that guy looking at? Oh, crap. Super gunner, man. Yeah, desiccation. And then I'm gonna go full on tornado time at you. Shock you and rock you. Absolutely knock you out of this universe. Oh, I have no ammo on my twin Gratigas. Is that the issue? Alright, let's head down here. I do like my helper helping out. Oh, look, it's freaking Sea World. I knew this was Earth. Alright. That's a dead end. Those do not count as enemies, but these guys do. That was a stealth kill, technically. Alright, let's head back out of the tunnels. Ooh, yep. Yeah. Good night. A little stealth rip on that boy. 16 to go. Hey, why are you leaving me? Okay. We got some dudes upstairs, it looks like. What up, my dudes? Boom, we pinned him against the wall. That's what I'm talking about. Thirteen left. This is where it gets a little tricky because there's only a few left. Hmm. There's a wide variety of mission types as well. Did you look how we got a light on our gun? It helps quite a bit. Is this dude just chilling? What up, chilla? All right. Twelve to go. Twelve to go. Twelve to go. Where are they gonna be? I think I know. I spotted you a few of them too. This fool again taking cover. Hello? Hello? Huh. Ten left. There we go. Good work. Yeah, buddy. Get out of my sewer. I knew the sewer was full of jerks. Freaking Teenage Mutant Turtles are the only good thing to come out of the sewer. Since 1943. Ever since then, it's just been sewer scum. Again, I can't really run on these walls. Like I want to. Here, let's see if I can run on this wall. There we go, see? Well, it did it for a second there. You know I'm telling you the truth. There's wall running. Anyhow, all right. It's not really a wall. All right, cool. Six dudes left. Let's get this mission wrapped. And then I'll show you the default Warframe at the end just so you can see uh, what I initially started my play through with. My frame through. My play frame. My war play. What up? Alright, let's hope that there's just five guys over here. The ballista. What up? What up? What up? Glavia. Okay, let's hold the glaive out here. I think you like can charge up these like more energy based attacks. Yeah. There we go. 
Bingo. And we out of here. All right, that was pretty fun. I, the moment to moment action of Warframe is really good, and that's why I think the game is recommendable for sure. If it wasn't, if it was just all like, you know, cool looks and whatnot, you know, I wouldn't have good things to say about it. But the fact that it plays well and feels good, Giant Bomb talked about this game for a long time. I think Jeff Gerson was super into it uh, for quite a while. Excellent. There we are going back in our freaking action figure box. Um, but I like it a lot, and I'll show you the, uh, the basic guy before we bust a group out of here. Don't forget to let me know in the comments below what you like about the game, if you're going to play it, where you're going to play it, and uh, we can hook you up with the PS4, one of you at least. I wish I had like thousands to give away. That would be amazing. Boydus wonders how rare these Kubro eggs are. Okay. So we got a Kubro egg. I'm going to go here and just show you. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to my Excalibur guy. Okay. And I'm going to go back to my uh, generic weaponry, okay? Just so you can so totally see uh, how far I came. Um, I think I had kunai equipped, actually. That's my secondary. Yeah. Um, and then I did not have a glaive. I had this bow staff. Okay. So this was like the original loadout. And we'll just hop down to the planet and check out a mission just so you can see what's up with him. Um, let's go and let's uh, reset to like this quest. Okay. When you are ready, proceed to the navigation console. All right. So just so you can see, we'll load back in. And uh, I really like this game. I wish that I knew some people to play with because I think it would be fun if you had like friends and you were kind of collecting Warframes together and like. That satisfaction when you unlock a new Warframe or when you buy a new Warframe is pretty immense just because they're so diverse and so cool and they come with their own subset of abilities. Which I think sets it apart, you know? The fact that the different characters have abilities and whatnot as well. It makes it more feel like a single player game. Okay, so this guy's got this bow. I received intel that somebody vital to enemy operations is here. Find them and capture them. He's got this like uh, kunai thing going on. And then we got our bow staff of power, as you see here. It's not as exciting as my main man that we just played with, but you gotta start somewhere. And so I wanted to show you, like, uh, I mean, it's, it still gets the job done. And he's kind of like, you know, more of like a creepy crawly kind of guy. Um, he can, uh, what's the word? He's got. We cannot let our target know we're here. Track okay. them down quickly. Okay, I can do that. I wish there was walls. Um, so we're back at Earth here. So there are like uh, different play spaces that then lead you to different missions and whatnot. Capture them quickly before they escape. Okay, so we're going after this guy. Freaking sh Oh, dang. Hey! Freaking Kunai at this Grinier target. As you can see, Kunai are not as damaging to shields as we'd like them to be. Probably should pull out our bow and arrow and be like, Woohoo! You can quick, you can quick, uh, pull the arrow back, quick launch arrows, or you can, like, really dig deep and get a kill. Alright. Who is firing at me? I don't even know, man. Alright, where's this dude at? Slow down, buddy. Uh. 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 Hey. Rock em, sock em, robots. Alright, everybody's gone. But this dude is still on the loose. Boom. Come back, my target man. He's so freaking fast. Whoa! <laughs> All right, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Did he go down here? He did. Hey! Gotcha. Headshot critical. And let's bow staff you straight to freaking... He does not want to be bow stepped. Okay, I see how it is. I really like the bow and arrow a lot, actually. Did we stun him? We did. Obviously, as much as I like the automatic crossbow and it's a better weapon, like, there's something satisfying to pulling that drawstring back. Where is he? Where'd he go? Did he, like, leak into the floor? Oh, there he is. Absorbing his essence. Thank you, my friend. Excellent work. We'll interrogate the captive back at base. All right. Part is done here, Tenno. So that is Warframe. 
And that is a super sexy, souped up Warframe. And then a more starter Warframe. Uh, as you see, like the starter one is still fun and cool. It's by no means lame. But then once you eventually get to those crazy dudes, like the game just amps itself to a whole nother level, which I think is pretty hot. All right. Things leveling up left and right. We're dealing so much dang damage. Where, where does it want me to go? I think it's I think it's still over this way. Got to head out the way we came, boys. Hey. Boom. It's asking me to go back that way. Whoa, Nelly. Ooh. You really want me to go back? All right. Well, as we extract here, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully those of you who have been asking me to play Warframe for years are very satisfied and happy and fulfilled hopefully everyone else is happy uh, and enjoyed this as well it was fun to play i hope you guys agree with that today and uh, you have a chance to win a ps4 which is about as good as it gets so let me know what you think of warframe and your favorite part of the video in the comments below you'll see this guy has a shield that's thing else i want to make sure i showed you guys that like there are shields uh as well in the game so you don't just have like health dudes some dudes have rechargeable shields and whatnot i dead oh there we go um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. Make sure that like button if you enjoyed today's video. And uh, thanks to Digital Extremes for working with me to showcase this game with you. And uh, give me some in-game credits and whatnot so I could give you uh, the coolest action possible. Until next time, my freaking friends. I love you so much. Have a fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate. And as we extract out of this mission, we're going to extract out of Warframe and extract out of the video. So until next time, thanks again. We'll see you all later.